So applying to PA school can be a pretty daunting process, but in this video, I'm gonna give you guys three questions that you all need to answer to determine whether or not you are ready to apply to PA school. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's the Donna, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, um, it can be daunting applying to PA school, right? The process in and of itself, just going through everything, making sure you have everything together, it can be lengthy and, you know, nerve wracking, but really and truly, a lot of times people ask me, Donna, like, how do you know when you're ready to apply to PA school? Or how should I know? How would I know when I'm ready to apply to PA school? And I've come up with three questions that I believe that you all need to answer. And that those three simple questions will determine whether or not you are ready um, and not only ready but prepared to apply to PA school. So the first question that you should be asking and answering is do I know about what a PA is and what they do and the scope of practice and do I know about the history about being a PA and all of the things that come with that like do you know about PAs like that's the main thing because it's like okay sometimes people come in and they have an idea of what PAs do and even while they're in school they're like oh I really like this this is great but then when they get into their job or on the workforce they're like you know like this is really not all it's cracked up to be or this is not what I want this doesn't resonate with me and so to avoid that it's best for you to make sure that you are shadowing that you're asking questions that you're watching YouTube videos that you're doing all of the things that you can absolutely do to make sure that you know everything about a PA definitely go to apa.org um, go to the PA history tab to figure out okay well where did the PA profession start how is it progressing like what is it that I need to know that will help me understand exactly all of the things that go into being a PA and what does that consist of because that will help you determine if this profession is even for you and that is like the first and foremost step the next thing that you need to do is do your research now you need to research all of the schools that you are interested in because if you don't know what their prerequisite requirements are, what their GPA requirements are, if they even require the GPA, um, you know, what their shadowing hours are, if they require standardized tests, if you don't know the requirements to get into PA school, then how can you apply? Right? It's really not the smartest thing to actually like be looking all of that stuff up when you're ready because it's like okay well now i'm spending time doing research that i should have already done beforehand so that i know that when i'm ready i can just hit that submit button like put in my information and have the schools listed that i want to apply to so it's very important for you to do your research on the programs that you're interested in um, be it programs in your area or programs outside if you're willing to travel outside of your like 50 mile radius to actually get into PA school because it's very important to know what you need to do to get to where you're going, right? Okay, and then lastly, the last thing that you need to do is now do a comparison and contrast, do an assessment, I guess you can say, of where you're at with respect to those requirements. So after you've re researched the schools, you've researched you know, what a PA is and what they do, then now you need to go in and you're like, okay, so do I have a 2.75 GPA or above for a school that is requiring that? If you do, check, right? Um, do I have a thousand or more patient care experience hours? If you do, check. Do I have at least 30 hours of shadowing? If that is you, another check. Once you're able to check off those prerequisite requirements, then you know you're ready to apply to PA school. And the next thing that you do is just determine what cycle you wanna apply to. So that is it. Although the process can be lengthy because maybe it, in answering or in asking these questions, you realize, oh, I don't have the requirements here, but I may have it here, or I don't have the requirements for any of the schools that I'm interested in. So now you have to spend some time getting those requirements up. So that is the lengthy, like difficult, 
process of applying to PA school, making sure that you're meeting these requirements, then that can be daunting. But you don't know where you're going unless you've done the research to figure out that whole, like what that timeline needs to be, what you need to put in place. So even though that process is, is long, the figuring out if you're ready to apply to PA school is actually pretty simple. So those are the three questions you need to both ask and answer. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. I hope this helped for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.